Hey guys, it's Frugalista. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to some more free stuff. Today is a free find Friday video, so let's get started. I want to show you what I picked up for almost free, 90% off at Big Lots. Y'all come on, see what I got. Okay guys, this video is going to be similar to last week's. I want to show you what I paid for. I'm already over my budget. Last week I spent $20 on After Christmas. Y'all know I can go gaga over After Christmas merchandise. But I only, I think I spent around $10. So technically I was over budget by 10 bucks. But let me show you what I picked up. I was in Big Lots today and all of their Christmas merchandise is 90% off. And I kind of went in sticking my head in there to see if I could find um, some body wash. But came out with all of these ornaments. Look at these cute little shatterproof ornaments. I paid 40 cents for that. Look at these with little flowers on it. I paid 60 cents for that. Two containers of those. I showed you this last week. I bought four more packages of these little bling icicle ornaments. They are now 60 uh, cents. Originally, you know, down from $6. That is a really, really good buy, guys. So pretty. If you can see the little bling on it, that's going to make a pretty, pretty display. I picked up another pack of these. Uh, I think I bought one of these last week for 60 cents. And these are just some white balls. I don't have a lot of white ornaments, so I'm kind of stocking up on the white and silver. And that's why I'm able to like change out my themes so much. I kind of get bored with the same tree, and I like to change out my themes. So I picked up two packages of these. I'm sorry, three packages of these. And these were 60 cents also. Again, with the bling, the sparkle, the silver, uh, and the white glitter. Very, very nice, right? Now, uh, I'll start with this also. This is a huge canvas work, uh, you know, piece of art. I was in Christmas tree shop and the manager just said, blow these out for 98 cents. They were originally, I think, 29 or $19. But I picked this up for not, uh, 98 cents. And I told y'all I wanted to incorporate blue next year. So this is going to be perfect. Look at that pretty cursive writing. It has a pale blue background accent colors of that turquoise that pretty chartreuse and look at that very very pretty so i picked up one of those and i started to leave this one behind but i didn't this one is a great big uh stocking and it's in the plaid and at the top it also has the cursive writing or a beautiful uh script font of merry christmas okay Green background, very nice, especially for under a dollar. I just could not pass those up. I was looking at decoration and she said, I'm getting ready to blow those out for 98 cents. I picked up two of them, okay? But look at these Christmas trees, guys. $5 for these. I picked up two of those. And I know y'all saying, Frugal Nisa, you don't need any more trees. Yes, I do. For $5, this was originally 50 bucks. Yeah. So I picked up two more trees. You can never have enough trees, right? I know y'all, you're probably saying, Frugal Nista, whatever with that 90%, girl. We know you got the free stuff. Now, this is what I paid actually nothing for, okay? I'm going to start with bag number one. I have two big old bags of stuff, so let's haul this free stuff. Thing out of the bag, trying to get a little bit organized here, but as much as I'm pulling out of this bag, I left probably 10 times, you know, 10 times more in the actual dumpster. I was so glad to see this. And because we're expecting snow, um, I wanted this. Forget it. You know, this is stuff that I use. And this is why I'm able to change my theme up. I like different things throughout the seasons or throughout the holiday season. So I never really have the same theme. And I just left so much stuff there, guys. It was just unreal. And this was one store. One store. So let's get started. I found a whole bunch of wrapping paper. Okay, and I think I have more in that other bag, but let's look at the different varieties. Look at this one. This could this could almost be for just like a, a birthday gift, right? Look at those pretty colors, reds, blues, greens. Okay, and then look at the chevron. Got a couple of those. Look at that. Uh, look at the Merry Christmas in silver. I have a few snowmen. So we are set on wrapping paper. And then here is a Let It Snow with Santa in blue. 
I almost purchased one of these, but getting it for free is so much better. I told you spending your own money is so overrated. Uh, that was $9.99. And it's just too pretty. A beautiful um, form of a Valentine heart in a pretty pink and red. Love that. And let's start with all of this stuff, guys. We'll start with our tree toppers. Look at this little tree topper. Topper. Now that's not bad for a dollar. Really pretty in that blue that I want to, you know, incorporate. But for free, I'll take. Here's another one. Uh, that's a lighted tree topper, so I guess it lights up. There's one in gold. I have one in silver. I have one in a crystal. That's like a clear color. Here's another gold and another gold now speaking of blue guys look at all of these beautiful blue ornaments that i have these are all shatterproof um look at that look at all of the different designs and shapes look at this pretty blue here's another group of ornaments look at that so pretty that's going to be beautiful on a tree and you guys might recognize the tag on these. Look at those in silver. And look at these cute, very retro looking. They're uh, eight bulb type. And I have two packs of those. And did I show you this? Look at that. They're eight in there also. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, and I think that's it for us, the decorations in that and bag. Something that has nothing to do with Christmas, but look at that cute little white easel, chalkboard easel, okay? And the price on that, guys, was $15, $14.99. I'm going to use that possibly for this Valentine Day. And I just left a, a, a crazy amount of candy canes. Um, this, you know, they don't go bad, seriously, until I think 2018, um, all they have, all they actually do is store in a cool, dry place. So technically, I guess you could put these out for next year, but this was kind of just in there and I grabbed one. But when I tell you there were hundreds of these, there were hundreds of these I left. My mind is already working. I was thinking about, cause I have so many tree toppers. I was thinking about, suppose I do just a tree full of, of stars. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah. So that's bag number one. Okay, here is bag number two. It looks like we have a few more duplicates, more wrapping paper. Some of the same. I, I see here's a different one. That one has Christmas trees on it and in a shiny green. Here is a larger package of a chevron print. More of just the silver Merry Christmas. Two more of those. That's three of those. And one more of the green. So a lot more paper. Here's some repeats. Here are the bulbs again. I have one of those. Here are some purple ornaments. That's 12 in there. Look at this one. Looks like a, some, a few of those might be missing. Two, four, six, eight, yeah. I think it's only 10 in there. Here are some gold. More of the gold. I just could not grab enough, guys. This was just out. Um, it was in the middle of the day. It was during lunchtime when I picked this up. And I've heard from you saying that a lot of your stores destroy. destroy. Uh, and I don't know what to say about that, except that um, it's a blessing that I'm getting them. Look at this pretty fuchsia. That would have been pretty on my tree this year in my foyer. Look at that pretty hot pink and silver. More little candy canes. Again, I was just kind of grabbing. Here are some red ornaments. These are a little bit more fancier, as the name denotes. 
Do some more fancy, you know, fancy ones in gold. Pretty purple. More blue. And it looks like this box kind of came out, but most of the balls are in there in blue. And a few more candy cane. Now, when I say that's it for Christmas, that is that's it for Christmas. I mean, this is a nuts. I was in Big Lots, and my daughter was like, Mom, you do not need anything else. And she is so true. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. But I am done for Christmas. I mean it. Nothing. Nothing for Christmas. Unless I see some more for free. But no, I'm serious. This is, this is crazy. Now here's a few more just odds and ends from different stores. Um, some little 12 pad notepads, you know, by Marvel Comic. Okay, that'd be great as little uh, party favorites. Here are some paper straws, still sealed in a pretty lavender with flowers. That'd be pretty for the springtime. Here is a curling wand. That's a great big one. And actually, it's a name brand, like a really good name brand. That's by Bedhead. Can you see that? Yeah. So this, I just kind of grabbed and, and left. I don't know what these are. They're little um, chalkboard signs. I have four of those. Here is some acrylic paint in a honey brown. One of those. Here's a big balloon so sometimes I find you know big amounts and sometimes I just kind of find like little amounts like this that I just kind of grab and go these I don't know if they're knitting needles erotic rosewood knitting needles okay knitting needles and to go along with knitting, knitting needles some yarn here's some more of those little plaques um, I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's to make, um, they're different, maybe stencils. I have no idea what this is, but check that out, guys. Is it a stamp? Look how cool that is. They're like borders, I guess. For your, um, my crafters out there. These are called Juicy Tab Jewelry. Here's a paintbrush. Here's another, I don't know if it's a stamp or a um, hole punch maybe. Here's some tape in a glitter pink. Speaking of glitter, <laughs> a little pack of glitter. Little pack of gold tinsel uh, ribbon, curling ribbon. Martha Stewart Frost. Some jewelry for my jewelry makers. And this looks like something that you would use for, um, you know, your silk flowers. And here is a gold, a little frog ring. He's all glittered out because the glitter kind of wastes on him. Now everything I've shown you mostly has like, you know, a Christmas vibe going on, but I still like finding um, my home decor items. Look at this orchard. This pretty uh, orchard. This pretty orchid. Look how pretty guys. Beautiful white orchid. Um, and it's in a little planter, but can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? I found this last week. I just, you know, forgot to show you. I think I had already put it out. It's in that video sitting behind me. I'm going to sit this in my dining room. I think that is so pretty. Very, very nice, guys. Y'all know how much this goes for. And look at the little rocks and the, you know, other. It's in a white, beautiful uh, vase. Really pretty. Yeah, so still love finding my home decor items also.
Now, I'm not much of a candle girl, guys, but look at this big old candle. Big old huge candle. Okay, and look at the compare to price on that bad boy. 70 bucks. Wow, but it's big. It's huge. So, a big old candle from Home Goods. And here's my favorite, guys. Uh, these two mirrors, price tag of $49.99. The mirror's in perfect condition, no scratches, no dents. They did hit it with a little spray paint. I can take care of that. Again, I have two of them. And y'all know I love, it's perfect if I find them, you know, beautiful as is. But I can work on that, you know, get that spray paint off. And you guys are not going to be able to tell that this was rescued from a dumpster. Again, finding stuff right. in perfect condition is great. But even when I find treasures like this, this has great bones and I cannot wait to make good use of it. Thanks for watching, guys.